uh, later on Explorazi's page or can be emailed respectively. A uh, quick uh, introduction about the session and the speaker. Today we have with us Satyendra Sumani. Uh, Satyendra is, is a part of Explorazi. He's one of the co-founders and he also leads the product. Um, he's an engineer by academic qualification and a serial entrepreneur who has spent close to a decade leading and building products uh, with a principal focus on artificial intelligence and machine learning. Today's session is focused on experience, which is an offering by Explorazi uh, in one of the most promising and uh, prominent technologies uh, today, that is augmented reality and 3D modeling or scanning. This essentially is a bridge between traditional and e-commerce trade that helps drive more sales uh, for the online shopping experience. Um, they basically help assist the retailers by providing a 3D AR experience of their products with, with a web, a web AR link. Essentially, you don't need to install, end up installing anything uh, or an app. So, so that's the key takeaway, which essentially, again, helps the consumers to try it before they can buy it, which, which is one of the major uh, USPs. Uh, the session format is Satyendra will be walking us through the product solution offering uh, of experience today. And this will be followed by a quick uh, Q&A. Before we get started, quick logistical and sanitary checks. During the session, we would request everybody to kindly stay on mute unless speaking. Um, once we open for FAQ, you can actually feel free to keep posting questions in the chat during the session. And we'll consolidate the chat and then uh, address it during the FAQ. Or uh, once the FAQ starts, you can unmute yourself, raise your hands on, on the Zoom, and uh, you know basically then we can address the questions. Um, post session and during session in the chat, uh, Manas will just be sharing a few important links. One is for uh, the website of Explorazi and second is a quick Google feedback form. So for any uh, attendee who would want to uh, connect with the Explorazi team to better understand or maybe have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, or if you have any additional questions that do not get answered today, uh, would request you to kind of fill out that Google form for us to uh, get you connected and get those questions answered. Having said that, all the very best. Thanks a lot, uh, Satyendra, for taking out the time and would request to uh, take this up. Uh, Satyendra, uh, you're on mute. Hi, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, so thanks, Omo, for a nice introduction uh, about me, about the company, and also thank you for, the, for making this happen on a very short notice. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, this is Satin Sani. I do have to talk about myself, but before that, let me know about you being here. So I got a quick poll here. Manas, can you help me with a quick poll here? Uh, let us see who else is here. Uh, hello, Satyendra. Uh, just a I am founder of a Metaverse company. Hi. Hi. Great. So it will be great talk then. Harshvardhan, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, I, actually, I felt uh, the agent of this message is interesting. So that's why I joined. Nice to see this. Yeah. Excited to see this. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of product and marketer folks. So just... Hold on for next 20 minutes. I got a complete power packed actions items for you, which you, which you can actually take it from here and go and implement next day in your work uh, right from here, right? Saying that uh, my screen is not visible. Let me quickly share this. Great. So I'll quickly introduce myself here. Uh, as Somo already mentioned, uh, uh, Satin Sani, uh, engine uh, qualification uh, as engineering, but been through a lot of roles throughout my career. Uh, I was fortunate enough to build an electric car where Mahindra approached us to know the concept and then build some solution in embedded system, which 
uh, was used by uh, Unilever in their R&D team to do some research. And then my entrepreneurial journey started. Uh, I was building AI healthcare startup where uh, digitizing the health, health, health records and all. Uh, went through all the phases of startup, building the product, taking to the market, got initial customers, raising funds, and then putting a hard stop on the whole process. Right. And then since then, I've been a very retail guy. I really enjoying this space, built a solution for offline, which actually I'm not talking right here. But uh, then uh, pandemic taught us to so sourced us basically an opportunity to so, uh, solve a customer experience, which is being in online uh, shopping always. So we, we will be talking more towards it. So what I have done it is this next 20 minutes I have divided in four sections. First, I'll talk about how exactly a customer starts from the need to buying any items in any format, whether it could be online or offline. And then we'll see that in all these journeys, how actually we can tap any opportunity, right? And if we can find any opportunity, we will also see that how do we go ahead and implement this? And at the end, I'll, I'll quickly brief you about the experience, what we do, and followed by some QA. Great. Now, for the people here, I, I want to bring out something to, to give you a very brief of what augmented reality is. And uh, uh, folks who already know, this will give you fair uh, and a new perspective on what to think about, uh, how to think about new uh, uh, augmented reality space. So I'll quickly share my phone screen right here. And I want to show you this. Great. All right, so you see the sofa, right? This, this sofa right now, if I have to buy, certainly uh, one view, what we can do it is that pictures, videos and all, what best it can be done if you can actually see all around it. And then where AR comes into the picture that you bring this sofa right in your house and see how exactly fits in, in your hall or, or wherever. So this comes right there. And then you can actually measure the size, measure the color. Just one second. So I'll just try it once again. So, so one thing is what we do it is we all do this way we are and we don't let you install any app particularly to try out any items. And that's making this whole solution more popular because not, there are like hundreds of e-commerce portal on, on there and everybody has their own app. Now we can't ask every users to install an app and try it out. So what we do it is we say we do all these augmented reality experience just using VR link. So just some internet issue and it's not loading up. So I'll just skip this part and directly uh, come into the video where I want to show you. So basically what I meant right here is you, you saw this sofa and sofa can be bought right in your house and you can actually see how exactly it fits and how it exactly it looks, right? So I'm just sharing my uh, laptop screen again to show you what I meant by video. So here it is. So see this, basically, so basically what I want to show you that this is some something like AR navigation. When you are in store, AR can actually help you go where exactly you want, you can find any items. And this is like one of the hurdle in the offline store, right? You, you don't find it where exactly the items are. And if you have to make it very user-friendly, actually you have to deploy people. But augmented reality can help you all this that you can actually find any items. So what I'm doing it right here is I'm just pointing the phone inside the store and then augmented reality, the dots, those navigation, it's actually telling you that where exactly the items are. And then once you find the items, it will never be same as like just seeing packaging. You can actually have an AR packaging of the whole items. It gives you more detailed 
information about the product not just date pricing and other stuff but the whole lot of whole ingredients whole extra features whatever your product provides it can be given right just pointing the camera on the, any product in offline store as well and when you have all this look at this beautiful piece done by apple just point your camera to the to the apple card and they'll give you whole summary of where exactly you spent and all and this is all happening because of ar being into the place right now so if this gave you a, a fair idea that what exactly augmented reality is just one second i'm just changing my right now if this gave you a, a fair idea that ar ar being implemented in retail everywhere and if i ask you a question that why people are taking this ar and why they are implementing any solution around it a single answer is customer experience a customer being a more customer centric solution which helps customer decide before they buy is what we trying to achieve and that's why these people are getting into ar experience now let me get diverted a little bit to give you more idea on what customer centric when i say customer centric let's see if i have to buy an item on uh, uh, let like omega tablet 3 uh, in amazon and i go and just search it now what i see is this screen now let's see what amazon shows and what actually they should have showed as a, if they would have considered more consumer experience so first thing which i see here what they are doing it is they are anchoring you to see that okay this these pills are like just 0.1 to canadian dollar per 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 pill and it's too cheap for you to go ahead and buy it and the next step they tell you that okay get it by tomorrow get it by friday that that shows that this is almost yours it's it's almost in your hand now right and then they played very well saying that fitsla that they uh, uh, the whole the more than 50 60% of the screen is just covered by the subscription detail i wanted to buy the pill right where is add to cart and buy now button this is not at all visible in this whole screen and then in the next part is giving you very very social proofing that the people are buying this every two months and it's like they're adding a social proof that what exactly others do you should also do it i'm not sure what has gone wrong here but this particular bottle has 180 tablets and if you consume one daily it goes 6 months why and 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 what is the reason that amazon tells you that 2 months great now if i had to do this from a customer centric point of view probably i could have done this way i wanted to buy add a, a add to cart button and then yes people buy it very frequently this is a very regular meditations for everyone not do you want me to notify a, a button very simple saying that yes notify me that's what i mean this screen has been taken by uh, from growth.design and uh, it's it's a beautiful representation of whole customer centric now this is one product one portal where you searching in now they could be let me take you through multiple journey on a usual retail where people start thinking about any need to going ahead and finally buying it right so it's all start from a need and then trying out multiple options if you like it you buy online if you don't you go store and you see all budget and everything and if it's all well then you go go ahead buy it if you need support you call customer customer service and then if you really need it again and if you had liked it you will buy it again and if it's so good that you can uh, actually go and recommend others referral that's what we call is what can help you now this is very usual retail journey for a particular item Dif different items can have a different journey altogether different situation will have a different journey altogether again let us see that how actually opportunity sits in this whole ar journey in the whole you know customer journey where and all we can see that ar can help us doing this much better way great so start with this first thing when it comes to need right ikea has been doing this very very nicely uh in a nice manner saying that this suggest you a right furniture to to check it out before you buy that how much size it takes how what colors it goes behind and all those stuff now things one step more ahead that can i suggest you a wall painting hanging behind the sofa that goes with the uh you know gray sofa or with the red sofa the cushion the pillows and all those things can you create a need right there 
just by suggesting and helping customer to understand what goes right and what goes wrong with the whole design what they're trying to make it right now second one is certainly my favorite one this is option trying and this is this has been done very very again i'll i'll tell you like so a uh, smooth experience is there this is done by banavi company and they have done it in a way that the, they let you try multiple shoes on a on a platform uh, in a different color different varieties and everything i think i think reebok or adidas probably has taken their tech to implement the whole solution around it right and when it comes to offline store it will never be a same boring stores it will be more about being a more immersive experience when you visit any stores this is going to be the future for sure that you see more stuff rather than just seeing some packaging on the retail shelf right and nobody likes it this cashier's queue right so this is again i would call this is diverted from ar but this is something which we do at explorazi we detect squs and give you uh, a bills for whatever checkout and everything without having any queue so so that's that's about cashier's cashierless uh, checkout system uh, which is certainly not here but it's part of uh, again uh, ai system and when it comes to pricing what actually require is that you have every item in in a very nice theme so let's say if i have to prepare my living room i necessarily don't have to go and buy very costly item what i have to do it the try out multiple items put in thing in my living space and see that what goes well what fits well with what color what items and all and i can actually do this in less cost if i have all the tools with me which i can bring multiple items see what cost cost it is and then try out multiple different options right now think about the support system if you are buying if you have uh, let's say a uh, microwave oven if you have bought and if augmented reality is holding your hand and saying that hey rotate this knob to medium temperature rotate this knob to 3 minutes for so and so hitting uh, a requirement right so this is what a uh, uh, future of support again is the ar is basically will be helping you exactly point by point that what you should do next to achieve what rather than just getting on a call and answering and understanding questions and answers and all those stuff right and uh, this is something again comes to the need part of it where you buying it again but this is what is happening today is like you open any app and you see any ad is basically either you have bought that or you have browsed that right this will happen in so probably has within we relate with this in the metaverse when all the stores and all the uh, setup is already there people will start showing you ad which you have probably bought it before or you have shown interest and when you and and why this is more uh, i would call is like more uh, better than the usual ads today because this is more immersive when you are doing this you are not doing anything else you just immersed in the whole experience and you seeing an ad you are more connected to the ad rather than just closing that ad right away as we do to it today great and the last option what it comes is referral part of it now why referral happens because of two reasons either uh, you have a referral incentive or you are giving some social capital to the people right now referral incentive certainly certainly need a fund burns capital uh, uh, basically platform currency which you have to burn but here in the social capital is basically you don't have to burn you have to just give you something which let users earn that capital socially now if i am design my living space using ar and and basically nothing buying it and before i have like full living space ready i'll be sounded more cool if i say that with my parents my family and my friends and i won't mind saying that okay which app i use to actually set up the whole my living space and that's why this gives you social capital to refer right now what i want what i tried to do this here is that this gave you the whole idea on how to start thinking about how uh, ar can be implemented at what stop at where the whole uh, in a user journey mode great now if you really find any opportunity right here in this place let's see if we have to implement it how do we actually go ahead and implement right so starting with step 1 what i would always suggest to everyone is that have a goal in mind mind now 
it might sound very cliche and very general stuff to have a goal and target but until and unless you have a target there's nothing you can measure as a successful or failure now what i mean by target and goal is that what do you want to achieve with this whole ar experience do you want to engage more people do you want to help your customers or do you want to do more branding around it? and if you choose engagement let's say then do double down it and say that uh, uh, do you want to solve for a depth of engagement do you want to solve for a breadth of engagement or do you want to solve for frequency of engagement so uh, kellogg's did uh, one campaign for a ar gaming for their one of the product called coco they wanted to solve for depth depth of engagement and frequency of engagement where they they wanted users to come play the game spend as much as time possible in their whole experience and come frequently whenever it's possible for you to come in here now once you get this whole goal try to have a number around it that okay i want my users to spend at least 10 minutes whenever they come in here so that kind of number will give you that whether you achieve the goal at the end with the whole solution or not right now in step 2 what you should do is that you should go and pick those skews which is getting very very high traffic online you certainly should you won't you would not like to try this solution with the excuse which does not have a traffic because you will not be able to evaluate the whole impact of the solution which you have developed so you need really need to find those excuse which is doing really good now these excuse could do better in different channel but not good in our other channels as well so pick those channels and just pick one or two channels as i would suggest because you are still in a trying phase you are still trying to figure out whether this solution works for you or not so have a couple of channels have few excuse which is best performing online get the get the number like how much exactly margins you have and get a mar- margin to cost ratio and why this is important because if, if i'm just selling a 100 rupees item and i have only margin of 10 rupees why would i spend some 1000 rupees on this right so have a margin to cost ratio and i always suggest that let's have this ratio greater than 3 then only you get into implementing ar solution for that particular product now once you get the sqs ready what next you have to do is this is to go ahead and decide the theme now what i mean by theme is is basically ikea is trying to help customer to measure the size right one plus uh, mobile launched their mobile in ar uh, similarly like heinz ketchup uh, uh, had wanted to share a uh, recipes with their users similarly uh, indomie noodles whom we call it like uh, maggi of nigeria they wanted to show that just a maggi packet can be served in 20 different recipes in and and those recipes was displayed in ar and that is basically uh, explore as you did it like we did it for indomie uh, nigeria uh, we displayed 20 different recipes in augmented reality space so once you have those that theme that what exactly you want to achieve get it in a in a very right perspective that do you want just to have a 3d view of it or do you also want a augmented reality of it or you want animation around it or do you want any functions to happen that i want to press this button this should happen and i want to get into that uh, slide this down and so that to that should happen and once you have that try to understand where all your your users can access this do you want only android users or you also want ios users because that that has a, a little extra tech work required and and once you done with this do you so uh, where and all your users can access is what you have to decide it correct and then at the uh, uh, next step you already have a journey of your product that how exactly people searches your product and finally buy it and you must be tracking through some tracking tool but what extra you have to do when you're implementing ar is basically you are adding an extra element 3d view ar view ar actions so you have to actually go and track this out the whether the whole 3d loaded or not whether experience came appeared or not whether user stayed how much time he stayed in the whole experience whether he performed any actions or or anything happened so this all new things will come in the this solution so this is all you have to go and track it out which actually i'll i'll talk to you in step 6 that uh, what all you have to track uh, for this complete journey now you you really need to think that only handful of the companies are doing this ar product ar implementation around any product in their company so this is certainly if you are doing it you you deserve a noise you deserve a better branding across the all social media so 
you you are the marketer folks and you have a marketing team which can take care of it better but if i had to do i'll probably get a influencer uh, a social media influencer i'll ask them to get into experience take a selfie and say share on a social media that will give me more budge right a reward your users so that they 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 take a selfie and share on the social media try to create a whole of personalized campaigns for them and so that they feel very connected and try to share that with uh, other people right and at the end what you have to do is like whatever you did you have to go and measure it out so how much traffic it was before now how much it is now how much time it's being spent on that particular page now whether the checkout has increased where people are sharing the experience where the repeat purchase is happening or not so this is all you have to measure if i tell you 68% of the shoppers spent more time when you have a solution don't trust me go ahead implement this implement all this tracking and then figure out yourself whether it helps you or not if not drop it right here if yes then take it further implement it more in a better way to make it more uh, to grab basically more traffic more sales around it super so if uh, i i gave you basically the whole journey where how all you can find the opportunity i also gave you how actually you can go ahead and implement it if the number of steps showed you like this is slightly complicated i give me another 2 minutes where i'll show you if i uh, how at experience we are solving this helping you building this ar uh, experience just in 2 minutes so i have this portal right in front of me so this is basically a experience platform where i come in here and what exactly you want to buy what exactly you want to build so if i want to build 3d and i also want to build this ar solution around it in the next what i do is that i go so just one click what exactly you want to build and then here in i click and then i go and at least upload three images so so here let's say if i'm selecting this toaster and i have this three images of toaster i go, got this and i'm just uploading it i can name this as a toaster demo and you don't have to do anything you can just skip to last and just upload this what i what you did you wanted you said like what i want i want ar do you have reference images i do have a reference images what do you call i called uh i called a uh, uh, toaster demo and i get this link now this link is basically gives you a ar experience which is so right now uh, the images has been uploaded the uh, our back end team is looking at the images and then they will upload the whole experience here right now how will this experience look is basically if i have to show you let me again share my phone and see if my phone got some good internet this time and i can actually bring the item as a toaster so here it is yeah so this toaster is right here which gives you the whole 3d view and then you can certainly bring this on your table right here so let's remove this okay so certainly some internet issue i'm sorry for it okay never mind so basically what i wanted to show this this toaster can be bought in your home and you can actually experience you can actually see these knobs this is everything how does it work and everything uh, right in front of you and and this is helping you first just by sharing three images to us and telling us that what exactly you want to build okay so that's about this that what exactly uh, we do and how do we help you uh, just last thing before we get into qa i would like to share one more thing is that coming 10th we have a product hunt launch and we are 
we we are launching this experience pro, uh, uh, product on product hunt on 10th of march uh, if you really liked it and if you want actually we are having like uh, some offers running there so if you really want to support us uh, do visit uh, our 10th of march product hunt and support us right there okay i'm open for a questions now uh, if any thanks a lot uh, satyendra for the for walking us through the entire uh, offering very interesting and definitely very uh, relevant in the retail tech space at the moment um so would would open the forum for uh, questions and answers now uh, you can feel free to post your question or uh, unmute yourself and ask questions thank you also as we had already mentioned earlier please be advised the entire session recording is available uh, on request later Uh, while we wait for uh, more questions, I have uh, one question. Um, so the gentleman wants to know what is the pricing component uh, associated uh, with this, or how do you price this? So, so uh, basically, two things into it, right? One is that building an experience, and second thing is that accessing the experience. So certainly, there is one cost component is is what experience you want to build. You just want to have a plain three D. but you want more animation around it you want accents around it so based on the complexity of the model and the experience you want to build there's certain pricing and then there is a view so certainly this need to be hosted somewhere and then the web url we could be giving you that you will take it and go and integrate with your product you know, on e-commerce platform so there uh, the number of traffic happen the number of experience basically is being viewed is what we count it and we charge you for that so there are two components to it the pricing is completely available on experi.ng you can actually go and that's the pricing we follow perfect so uh, of course basis the kind of features uh, that you would want so um, uh, you know 3d versus ar or whatever features you want to choose so there's one kind of pricing for that and of course then there, there'll be hosting uh, etc or the experience based charging or per view charging uh, charge right Right. right. All right. Super. Second question is, uh, what does a typical pilot deployment look like, uh, and what is the time frame to it? While well, I think one part you've already uh, covered is that it's very quick at a few click of buttons, but what does an ideal deployment timeline look like for us? Okay. So, so uh, it again, uh, if you really want to do pilot with one item, uh, we will just do it at no cost, and that we can do it in like one week of time. So you give us the images and the reference of the. product which you want to build what exactly you want to build and in one week we will make the whole experience and send you the web url you are which you can go integrate and check it out whether it's working out for you or not so one item is completely free if you really want to try out with multiple items there we uh, get into a paid pilot mode got it but this is second part of the question and i think it was more uh, focused on not not on the pricing perspective but let's say if if a uh, um if if a team uh, or if a marketing team wants to do this at scale and deploy this you know in some territory then how does the deployment look like so for example if it is one or maybe 500 products so for all 500 does is is this your backend team that does the entire thing or would you train people to do it internally uh, so you know? so uh, so basically see uh, building an experience is a designer work right a 3d artist designer and the whole storyboarding team sit together and do the build the whole experience so so whenever you say that okay i want this my storyboarding team sits down and then get the whole story out of it that what exactly we want to so and then the designer comes to the picture and des- the design uh, our, the, basically uh, makes you visual out of what the storyboarded and then 3d artist takes that further and then go and develop the whole experience right so this is what i we do have a team as our if you also have such teams we can certainly help you doing that but we always prefer because we have got all the expertise right here for how to implement this we always prefer but uh, uh, if you really have like lot of excuse and are you worrying uh, like if it ca- uh, at scale you would like to handle yourself we can certainly uh, you know discuss as a custom partnership uh, in a mode fair enough Uh, thank you for that 
Uh, another question is, uh, what geographies has this been previously deployed in? Well, I think you've just mentioned that this is a launch, which is very recent. But uh, in general, uh, your solution has it been deployed in North America, Latin America, or is it still majorly focused in the Indian market? Okay, so this is online space. So certainly it can be deployed anywhere. So uh, for Nigerian Indomie, as I already mentioned, that they wanted to showcase recipes of their noodles that we did it. Uh, in Nigeria, and there's it's still live. You can actually go and look at it, ar.indomi.ng. There you can see our logo also. So uh, saying that uh, there's no geography restriction because it's all online space. What it matters is that when you want to, when you want to uh, get access more frequently from one particular region, is where we come in and then host your experience in that region so that far, the the access becomes faster. Otherwise, there is no restriction geography wise. Fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Another question we have, um, a two part question. So uh, while I think you've just mentioned the Nigerian brand, but has any brand already used the system? And if, if yes, uh, what feedback has helped you improve the product? And the second part is, is it a self service system, which I, I think you just covered, but can you go through it again? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, so Coming to the first question that uh, what feedback we have got. So certainly uh, this Nigerian company wanted to try out if so, uh, basically what they said is like, okay, share your recipe. And so take a recipe out of this 20 recipe, cook it and share with us on a social media or wherever and send us a screenshot and we give you something. So they, they found really good traffic coming in and they actually saw a lot of interest. Uh, there was a small issue in Nigeria of internet, but otherwise, uh, and, and that was actually a good feedback that Nigeria internet is, is slightly costly and what this brand uh, planned uh, had, had was not perfect. So we also need to see that wherever we're planning this whole AR solution, certainly you require internet and you require slightly uh, uh, moderate cost internet, not like very high cost because there are MBs of file gets loaded in 3D and AR also. So that's kind of one kind of feedback we have got it there. A uh, couple of feedbacks from Indian client where they're actually using this AR for their training material. So they have like whole AR uh, experience of AR tools and machines and that helping them to train their people at the, at the factory or in the office and how this tool works and all. So these are the couple of feedbacks which I have. Uh, second one is that this is self-service. So yes, this is a SaaS platform where you can just log in and upload images and tell me what you want to do. And I give you a URL, which will be live right after. We also give you a ETA basically that uh, whenever we review the images, we tell you that, okay, this will be done in three to four days. And we actually make that same URL live in three to four days. So you don't have to do anything. This is all self-service. Certainly there is a manual work at the end, uh, at the other side, because there are artists involved. There is a designer involved. Uh, there's a whole team involved, but you don't have to get into, it's all basically you upload images, tell me what, what do you want to do? And we do it for you uh, and then upload right there in the platform itself. Got it. Uh, hope that answered the question. Otherwise, uh, please uh, share more questions. Yeah. I think we have another one. What budget range should a marketer keep in mind for using this uh, new media in your oh, experience? Okay. So uh, I so I think uh, I already told you, but let me uh, take an example uh, and and say. So let's say if you have a hundred rupees product and you are actually selling thousand such items in one month, you are actually making a sale of one lakh rupees. Now uh, let me just assume a margin of thirty percent. You have a thirty thousand of uh, uh, margin. It means thirty thousand of profit you're making. Now. I say that, okay, if you, if you implement this AR solution, you will have 7% increase in the wholesale. It means you are, uh, you are making another, how much? 7,000 more probably, uh, 30,000 of 7% is around 2,100. So, so let's say you are making another 3,000 rupees more uh, if you actually get this solution implemented. So you're making extra profit of 3,000. Now, if you have to spend more than 3,000 on the whole solution, you should not do it, right? So you should always calculate this part that how much do you, are, do you have a more volume or do you have a high, high price range of the item? So what I see that if you are, so overall like building one experience, if, if costing you 10,000 rupees, then your 
you should have 7% of the whole profit should be always 30,000 to 40,000 rupees. I'm just giving you an example. This could go in lakhs and, and further in more millions and, and all, all. So that's how you should calculate and, and come to the point. Got did it. I did, did this answer the call, uh, question? If not, you can unmute and get it clarified more. Uh, no, it, it was, uh, I think would have addressed, but I think the larger question was, is there a, I mean, in your experience, is there a, uh, you know, tentative budget that you think? So for example, you know, doing it, let's say for five products or, uh, typically how do you, how much do you think would be the range? So, oh, okay. So, so basically five products, when you say, I really need to know like what kind of these five products are, but let me assume and give you a pricing here. So let's say this is some CPG brands who has just packaging and they want to show some experience around it. Okay. So that kind of experience is like per, per SKU will come around 2,500, just 2,500 building the whole experience. And then it's around per view or per thousand views. It is like $1.37. Uh, did this answer? So 2,500 per SKUs building the whole experience in a simple manner. And then $1.37 for every thousand views. Got it. Fair enough. I think this is, uh, this should be helpful. Yeah. Do we have any further questions for anybody? If you would like to unmute and ask. Uh, Manas, I think we have also covered questions from other platforms, right? Yes. All right. Um, we, we have uh, one more question from Bhuvan. Um, do you charge per scan by consumer or per project? Uh, so since we are hosting this on our platform, we charge you per scan as well. So basically uh, your customer are experiencing it by clicking a link which is hosted on our server. So we charge you for that particular uh, view. And that's what I said, like for if, if there are such thousand views, we charge you uh, $1.37. Hope that answers the question. Bhuvan, any, any further questions? Um, um, yeah, the, sorry. Yeah, he's, he, he just said, yeah, uh, he's done with the questions. Okay. Thanks. All right. Super. So thanks a lot. Uh, in that case, uh, it was a very, uh, very, very helpful session, uh, Satyendra. Uh, so thank you for taking all the time and walking us through. I do really appreciate everybody who's, who's joined the call on di various different platforms. Uh, please again do bear in mind if, if you find this interesting and if you want to have a better understanding or uh, you know get to know the product better or maybe get a demo or get a free uh, or a you know paid pilot uh, anything of that sort please feel free to reach out to us or you can reach out to Satyendra. Uh, the best way to do so is you can fill out the simple two three um, you know uh, field google form that we have shared in the link just fill out your basic details and uh, would request you to kind of uh, mention if there are any questions otherwise we can directly get you connected um, so thanks a lot uh, again Satyendra. any anything else uh, that you would want to add towards the end otherwise we can close no i think uh, uh, i covered almost everything uh, as i already told you that uh, we're launching this on product hunt on 10th of march uh, and uh, there are like some more free offerings on the same day. So, and we are uh, basically 24 hours more demonstrations is happening uh, on 10th of March. Some exciting uh, uh, events is happening on 10th of March. So do come on uh, product hunt platform and check us out. And, uh, uh, and I, I will be happy. Like I'll be there to answer all the questions, all the queries, all the offerings uh, right there on 424 hours there. So do come us, come there and check us out. Thank you. Absolutely. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Satyendra. Uh, very exciting. Uh, looking forward to the same. Uh, and I think uh, consider partner with agency. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Bhuvan has added a point. Uh, he says that you should also consider partnership with agencies. So any, any uh, inputs on that? Uh, 
uh when you say agencies uh, can you just please elaborate more bhuvan like what kind of agencies you are talking about i'm bhuvan you can unmute yourself and, and speak here digital and creative agencies yeah oh yeah, yeah yeah actually yes thank thanks for the suggestion so certainly we are targeting that as well because that's where the whole uh, game is so this experience is basically Uh, about the creativity and the and and uh, hold the uh, creativity goes on the digital so so certainly thanks for uh, pointing it here but we we do have this in our whole plan man great no uh, why i suggested this is because uh, uh, this should be your go to market strategy priority basically because okay. agencies have multiple brands and brands for for brands this is more like an one off kind of an engagement model right uh and for you need to kind of get uh, continuous business you need to have agency partners so b2b2 uh c is where i think uh, you will get scale right 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 so having a strong agency partnership across the world right small medium agencies of course large agencies are part of it because for agency this is like an you know uh an interesting proposition an offering for the clients yeah and you will get continuous business yeah thanks thanks we will certainly got it and noted will certainly put a more effort on this side then yeah Great. thank you so thanks. much thanks because so much. Uh, uh why i'm asking this is i'm telling you this is because couple of years back almost 2015 or something i had started something very similar Mm -hmm. uh we were featured on tech 30 with your story uh it was called visarity uh me and my co-founder he was a tech guy he was also a design guy uh things did not move out, uh, because we were kind of ahead of the game uh during that time uh but that was the strategy which we thought was an ideal way for us to scale i come from a marketing background i come from an agency background hence i understand how these marketers and brand work Right. So yeah, sure, sure. I really appreciate this, Bhuvan. Uh, thanks a lot for you know pointing this out, and certainly uh, I'll take this forward further and 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 try to have more focus in there. Thank you so much. Sure. Okay. Thanks. Super. So again, thanks a lot, everybody. I think we are uh, uh, slightly over time, but um, appreciate everybody's presence today. And Ankit, uh, we'll be happy to share the recorded session link. Would again request you to just share your email address in the Google form, um, so that we can uh, we, we can share the same. And anybody else who wants to connect or get the session recording, please do so uh, via the Google form. So super. Have a great uh, day ahead, guys. And thanks again, Satyendra, for taking all the time. Very interesting. Take Thank care. you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks, Manas.